Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Theater Talk at 3 o'clock. I've got the one and only Yuki here with me. How are you, sir? Very busy. It is <laughs> yeah. homecoming week here in San Angelo. And yes. I have a football player and a drum major. Who is, the drum major is on the homecoming court, so I'm wow. busy this week. So you're going to need a lot of coffee. I don't know that I'll need coffee. I just need to be able to duplicate myself and be <laughs> multiple places all at once. <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, that's that's the best, uh, you know, best scenario, right? Yeah. Duplicate and, yourself. And it's a great week, you know, because even though it's kind of early in yeah. the football season and school year, it's a great weekend for everybody to get out and support you know, favorite schools. Yeah. Central High School. There, <laughs> exactly. There's so much to do. We were just talking about it. And, of course, I mean, y'all are a huge part of that. You've got a lot coming up. We do. And yeah. uh, the cool thing about this season is we're reducing the number of shows that we present because we have a lot of other uh, regional, national promoters that want to come in and bring shows. Right. So in order to have the availability, we're trying to find that right balance. Yeah, I mean, you've got uh, some pretty big, pretty big shows coming. Can you reveal any? We do, yeah, yeah. So, there, okay. so through December, <laughs> through December. So, uh, the first in the lineup is, of course, Ed and May and the Southern Fried Chicks. Uh -huh. They'll be here Saturday, the uh, 14th of October. That's going to be a great show. They yeah, do, yeah. Uh, country music television. They're, you know, nationally renowned, maybe even internationally renowned. Mm -hmm. uh, and everybody who doesn't like comedy in San Angelo. Oh, I know. Um, so they'll be here, and that also happens to be the Eclipse. Yes. So, you know, if you mark your calendar, go see the Eclipse, and then enjoy an evening of fun-filled laughter at the Murphy Performance Hall. I mean, that sounds like a great day to me. I don't know. Yeah, there's That's a lot it. of things going on. Even <laughs> on that Eclipse Day, you know, there's other events going on in town. Yeah. It's going to be a busy weekend. It really is. Okay, so we got to talk about a huge event coming up. Uh, again, the second... Um, no, wait. How many, how many is this? The Revolution Film Fest? Four. Fourth. Oh yes, so the first one was during COVID. Oh, that's right. It was online. So it was online. Uh -huh. Then they had three in person at San Angel Performing Arts Center. Yep. So this is the fourth one, yes. third one in person. Um, and this is going to be a fantastic event. Last year, they had some great shows. Uh, I had a chance to see some of them, and yeah. it's always entertainment. You can find something. If you're a fan of horror, comedy, drama, there's something for you out there. Yeah. Yeah, the film buffs especially. I mean, we've seen such... Uh, really an upswing in popularity of the indie films and people supporting that. So, I mean, we have a full weekend of all that. And I think there's a group of St. Angelos out there that are really into uh, independent films. Yeah. And uh, this is a great way to see how to get into the community. Mm -hmm. um, of course, um, if you have a film, I think the deadlines have passed to for this film fest. But right. if you're looking ahead to the next film festival, those are start opening... Next year, I guess this year, yeah. you go to filmfreeway.com and you can find the San Angel Revolution Film Festival there. Um, this year's film fest is really cool because they're going to premiere Losing Lalo. Yes, I was about to say, we got to talk about that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, Cedric Thomas Smith, who mm -hmm. was the winner last year, picked San Angelo as his on location yeah. for his new film. Uh, it's a short uh, called Losing Lalo. It's a really cool uh, drama about. Uh, I think the military, post-traumatic yeah. stress, yeah. Uh, suicide awareness. Yeah, definitely a, a topic uh, that I think a lot of people can relate to here, you mm -hmm. know, with our military community and everything. Yeah, and it's, so it's an important film. Mm -hmm. Plus, it was filmed in some cool places around San Yes. Uh, some great stories about, you know, filming on location, uh, <laughs> different places. And they did it during the summer when it was really, really hot. Yeah, yeah. So. And, yeah, you might see a few familiar faces yeah. in this as well. Yes, because they did do a casting call out mm -hmm. to the local community and say, hey, if you're in town at this location, show up and uh, yeah. So, you know, you never know who might be appearing in the film. You never know. So you're just going to have to go see it for yourself. Okay, so that is September 29th through 30th. So in just a couple weeks. Yes, it's right around the corner. Yeah. And you can get a weekend pass or a day pass. Mm -hmm. um, the first day that uh, Friday... The shows will be in the Brooks and Bates. And right. then on the Saturday, they'll have shows in the Murphy Performance Hall and the Brooks and Bates. And if you're interested in meeting some of the directors and actors that are coming out for that film fest, the Chamber of Commerce is hosting a uh, meet and greet uh, on Thursday evening. I forget where the location is. I know it's one of the bars downtown. Oh, yeah. Uh, but there's that. Um, and so stay on the lookout. You know, 
keep in t uh, there's a Facebook page, San Angel mm -hmm, Revolution, mm -hmm. where you can find information out on the San Angel PAC website. Yeah, and like you said, you know, we've talked about this so many times, Yuki, but it just, I can never get over the amount of talent in San Angelo, in the Concho Valley, in West Texas. And I mean, this is the perfect place for everybody to really come together and really, like you said, meet all those folks, meet the directors, meet the actors. Well, what's interesting is if you go on IMDb, yeah. and you type in San Angelo, a whole bunch of people show up. I know. We need to have a whole show dedicated to that. <laughs> it, it, it's, really, it's really cool. It's like there's uh, voice actors who yeah. play a career in anime, voiceovers. Mm -hmm. Of course, the most famous person, I think, is Mark Menchaca, who's yeah. you know, uh, jumped into who was on Ozarks and other mm -hmm. films. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a slew of people who've been have come from San Angelo. And if you broaden the search to West Texas, there's a ton of people yeah. from West Texas that have been in the film industry. Yeah, that's, you know, we're pretty cool here, I would say. <laughs> yeah, you know, West Texas is the diamond and rough. It is, it is, definitely. Okay, so um, we got to talk about some of these other shows. You, you told us a little bit about Ed and May and the Southern Fried Chicks, the comedy, but there's something coming before that as well. Right, so uh, we happen to be a popular destination for ballet yes. lately. Yes. So last spring we had... A World Series ballet come through with um, Cinderella, and now we have the Grand Kiev ballet coming yeah. through with Snow White. And we're the only destination in Texas for their stop, which is pretty cool. That's amazing. Um, yeah, so they're supporting the uh, ballet dancers in Ukraine, and I think part mm -hmm. of it is also raising funds to help maintain their facility back in uh, Ukraine. So it's a cool opportunity to support the arts, yeah. not just here in San Angelo, but internationally exactly exactly okay so speaking of supporting the arts we got to remind folks that y'all are a nonprofit. yes yeah so how can they get involved and how can they really help you so we're always looking for volunteers mm -hmm. you know if you want to volunteer come on out and uh support us you know attend a show um or you know what we're doing is kind of revamping uh our yeah. uh, membership process right um because we're re-looking at where we are as an organization and into the future. Right now, I think SAPAC is a relatively young organization mm -hmm. when you think of it as a performing arts center. So we're trying to figure out you know, what does the capital campaign look like? We're really focused right now on establishing an operational endowment to sustain us over the years. Yeah. As we focus more on venue operations rather than presenting. Mm -hmm. We'll still continue to find things to present, uh, but that will be focused on grant writing to underwrite the performance right um, and then you know we primarily want to be a, a state-of-the-art venue here in the Concha Valley that is capable of receiving mm -hmm. top-of-the-line talent uh, through other promoters like Outback Presents, Awakening Spence, uh, so on and so forth so that way we become a dis destination of choice right in the Concha Valley in West Texas for you know uh, reaching out to a nationwide pool of motors. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, okay, we talked about volunteers and membership sponsorships are also available. Yes. So, we're still starting at the start of our season. We're looking, we're looking at the sponsorship piece as well. Right. Um, everything is kind of getting revamped as we um, map our way into the future because you know it's really a collective effort to figure out you know where do we fit into the community mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. as an organization. And what does the future look like for SAPAC? Yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, SAPAC was the San Angel Performing Arts Coalition with four member organizations, the Ballet, the Symphony, Angel Civic Theater, and the Cultural Affairs Council. Mm -hmm. But over time, it's really just um, morphed into its own organization. Um, Ballet San Angel is still part of it because they're a resident company, and we're uh, developed uh, redeveloping our relationship with the Cultural Affairs Council to look at you know, programming in the future, but really, you know, between 2017 and now, uh, we adopted a lot of the tasks that the coalition had yeah. know, in terms of programming. But now we're looking at, okay, how do we balance programming with venue management to be fiscally responsible and good stewards of the mm -hmm. resources that we have? Because mm -hmm. We own the Stevens Performing Arts Center, but we manage the city auditorium, which is now the Murphy Performance Hall for the city. Right. Um, so, you know, going forward, it's like really fine tuning um, what we are as an organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, you know, 
being a nonprofit performing arts center, it's few people have done it, I think, in San Angelo. So it's trying to understand the environment, right. mm -hmm. the, the customer base, and then how best to move forward to continue to support the great people in Contra Valley and that surrounding communities. Yeah, exactly. Especially because I'll say that West Texas is a dynamic environment right now with ASM Global now managing Wagner Noel, Buddy Holly Hall, and Abilene Convention Center. That's going to draw a lot more live entertainment to West Texas that we haven't had before. Right. Spanning a wider variety of artists, genres, and shows, you know, so we're, we're li living in some exciting times <laughs> in uh, West Texas. Most definitely. Most definitely. So you mentioned the rentals. If someone out there is, you know, maybe they have a group or something, they want to, you know, put on a performance, they mm -hmm. can do that. They can rent some of your spaces. Yeah. So like recently we've expanded a lot with we t tend to be a very popular location for schools. Right. Because um, we do have a school rate to help them um, give great experience to young people, mm -hmm. to you know, inspire the next generation of performers. But if, if anybody wants to have a show, they can reach out to us, um, calling us at 325-284-3825. We're visiting us at the Performing Arts Center on 82 Gill Street. Right. I'm always there, usually Monday through Friday and weekends for shows. So, you know, I was just, about to say, he's got a cot set up, he's got everything. <laughs> yeah, you know, we have enough dressing rooms I can hide. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, just come visit us, give us your ideas. Yeah. You know, we're looking to, you know, make, be, uh, we help support the art economy in San Angelo. Because yeah. that's a growing industry right now. It is. Uh, growing. It needs a lot more investment and development from across the community because. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a lot of great venues. Some of the bars have uh, are now venues that provide music and mm -hmm. comedy on the weekends. Um, so, it's, you know, right now to be in St. Angelo is a great time because there's a lot going on. Right. And I know in the past there have been other venues that um, may have closed or transitioned to ownership. Right now, I think we're in that reset phase. We're seeing a mm -hmm. lot of new venues, a lot of people bringing in new acts and expanding what's available to uh, the great community we have. And, you know, when it, and I always hate when I, people say, there's nothing to do here. Yes, that's your most hated phrase. <laughs> because there's so much. Like this weekend, you know, there's a ton of things. There's right. a cowboy gathering. Angel Civic Theater is opening with Cabaret. Mm -hmm. It's homecoming weekend. Mm -hmm. Angel State has football on Saturday. Oh, yeah. So there's, Ram Jam, art exhibits everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like... You can fill your calendar with things to do. It's also second Saturday, so I'm guessing the Railway Museum may oh, have something uh -huh. going on as well, too. So, you know, it's a ton of things, family-friendly things out there. Like, uh, and when we think about Edame and Southern Fried Chicks, that is a family-friendly yes. comedy show. So bring out the whole clan and uh, enjoy it. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Yuki, thanks so much for sharing all this with us. Any, any final thoughts or messages you want to get out there, um, share with the people? Stay in touch with what's going on in the community because there yeah. is a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and the community thrives and grows based on participation. Mm -hmm. right? It takes the community to have great things uh, and to sustain the shows that we want to see and the activities that we want for our families to experience. So come out, you know, support the shows either as a volunteer or buying a ticket or being a sponsor because you know, yeah. we have a great opportunity to just really... Um, make a difference in the Contra Valley. Yeah, most definitely. Well, yeah. SAPAC is certainly doing that. <laughs> we, we try. We're, we're a small part of everything and all the great efforts that are going on here. Well, y'all are awesome. We love it. We love Theater Talk, and we love all of you for watching. That'll do it for us right now. We'll see you next time.